District in the Commonwealth of Kentucky might cease to exist. Yeah, no decision's been made just yet, but as Jeff Hirsch found out, the school board in Silver Grove will be talking with the Campbell County School District about possible consolidation. I believe that Silver Grove School is the heart of the community. With just 210 students pre-K through 12, the Silver Grove School District is as small as it gets, but with lots of residents like it that way. They say it's a chance for students to get individual academic attention and to play sports where no one gets cut. Everyone wants to say that bigger schools are for everybody, which is entirely true. Uh, you have kids that get the opportunities here that they wouldn't get at larger schools. But financing a school district in a tiny town is not easy. State aid makes up less of the budget than before. There's only one major employer, and most of the town's 1,150 residents are moderate or low income. It's a huge burden on the district, the community as a whole. In November's school board election, four new members, a majority, were elected with a promise to open communications with Campbell County Schools for possible merger. We ran on the platform for change for the, the school, change for the community. Um, we feel that the, the children of Silver Grove School um, have a lot more opportunity in other districts besides what Silver Grove can offer them. If a merger takes place, Silver Grove will become part of a district with 20 times as many students. The Silver Grove building would likely not be needed. Uh, a lot of who I am and what I've accomplished in my life, whatever titles I hold, a lot of that is because I'm a product of this environment. The difficult part in all of this is that I know these parents care. My wife and I, we have two children that go here and we absolutely believe in the school. I feel for them and I feel for the concerns, but we, we did, we ran on a platform. Not only is Silver Grove the smallest school district in Kentucky, it's also the only one in the Commonwealth named for an inanimate object. It's not the Panthers or the Bears or the Colonels, it's the big trains because this community used to have a big railroad facility. Now the question is, how much longer will that big train keep rolling? Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. And Silver Grove's board told the superintendent to have an informal meeting with his Campbell County counterpart to talk about merger options. And they're hoping to have a decision one way or the other before the next school year.